uh, I know it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube, but um, I had a lot of people, a lot of friends ask me to do a video showing how to apply eyeshadow like really up close and personal. So in this video, you're going to be like really in my face. Um, I tried to get as close as I possibly could to the camera. Well, it's not a camera. It's my phone. So um, it's not going to be the best quality, but I really do think it's going to help a lot of you out with how to apply eyeshadow and the steps and the brushes that you can use. So we are going to get into that video in just a second, but I do want to show you the products that I use to get this full face, just in case some of you were curious. And I do want to talk about the brushes. I do talk about the brushes in the video, but I do want to show you right now what I use because I did get some new brushes in that I had ordered. Um, so for starters, I use my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I put this right here on my nose and a little on my forehead and that just helps fills in my pores. And I am oily, especially now that it's summer. So it kind of helps my oil to not come out as much during the day. And so for foundation, I use the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation in shade three. Um, I really like this foundation. It's a really good foundation for summer. When I wear this, I get so many compliments. I had a lady about a week ago tell me at Rouse's that sh my skin looked flawless. Um, and it's because I had this foundation on. So if you're an oily girl, I would look into this foundation because it's really good. And I, again, I am in shade three. For concealer, I use my Jeffree Star Concealer in shade C8. Um, this is a little light for me, but I make it work. Um, I, after I put bronzer and powder on and all that, it looks fine. Yeah, this is a really good concealer if you've been interested in getting it. Um, for brows, I did use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio in shade Soft Brown. Um, I just used it with a spoolie brush. I think this is from, it's, I think I got this brush in a boxy charm. It's the Brow Gal, uh, but e.l.f. sells an eyebrow brush. You can literally find eyebrow brushes anywhere. Um, and I did do my brows before I did my eyes. I always do my brows first. It's just something I do. Uh, that's just personal preference, so you can decide if you want to do your brows first. And I did use two powders. I used my Cody Airspun to really set my whole face and then to brighten under my eyes and to carve out my contour. I used my Kylie Banana Powder. I am almost out of this. It's actually not banana. It's called yellow. Um, but this shiz is so good. I always tell y'all it makes your skin look like butter, and it does. It's amazing. For contour and bronzer, I used two powders. I used my Kylie powder in almond. This is what I used to contour my cheekbones. It's a little more cool toned, but on my everyday makeup looks, like when I go to school, I just use this bronzer all over. Um, it's a really good one. And then to bronze up my face even more, I used the Morphe Icon bronzer. This one is a little bit warmer than the Kylie one. So this is why when I go full glam, I contour and bronze my face. Um, when I go to school, I just use, like I said, my Kylie just to give me some color. But these are the two I use today. And for blush, I use the LA Girl Just Blushing. Um, this shade is called Just Playful. And it's a really pretty mauve color. So I use this for blush today. And LA Girl is really affordable. This is probably like $3. Really good. For highlight, I've been really back into my loose highlighter. So I use my Artist Couture highlighter in the shade Illuminati. This is one of their like first ever highlighters that they came out with. Um, it's just a really pretty loose highlighter. It's like super, it's super glam. So if you don't want major highlight don't use this um but it's a really beautiful highlight so the eyeshadow palette i use which you'll see in the video was the milani pure passions this is the i think it's 04 i think it's called pure passions there's two of them um and it's just a really pretty everyday neutral look you can do berry tones if you want you can do regular tones which is what i did today uh and i'll explain why in the video but it's just a really good eyeshadow palette and then for lips, I used my LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner in the shade Enduring Mauve. And on top of the lip liner, I used my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick 
in the shade Fully Nude. And it's a really pretty color. And I like the combination um, together. So that is what I used on my whole face to get this look. So now I'm going to talk about the brushes because I did order both of the Jeffree Star Times Morphe collection. Um, This was his first launch with them. This has eye and face brushes. But they did just come out with an entire eye kit. So these are all eye brushes. And I used two of these today. And then I also used my... Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe um, collection because I just think Morphe has really good brushes and it's 100% better to buy them in a kit. I do want to mention in this video that if you don't have good eyeshadow brushes, that could be why your eyeshadow is not coming out how you want it to be. Um, I tell you in the video that the key to good eyeshadow is blending and that really is but number two is you need good brushes if you don't have good brushes it's just not going to come out like you would hope um and i highly highly recommend morphe brushes you don't have to buy the collaborations that they do with youtubers um they have their own separate kits that you can buy on their website um, they have a lot. They have just eyes. They have just faces. They have some mixed collections. Um, they have a bunch and they're so affordable. So if you've been looking into getting brushes, I highly suggest you invest in just a good kit of face and eye brushes. Um, that way you get your money's worth. They're not expensive at all. They're extremely affordable brushes and they perform like, I don't even know, you guys. So honestly... If you've been looking into some brushes, check out Morphe. Um, now they're in Ulta, so you can go in Ulta and you can actually touch the brushes. If you're a person that doesn't like to order online, they're now in store. So go to Ulta, go check them out. Um, I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. It's going to change your eyeshadow game. You need good brushes, period. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Like I said, we're going to be very up close and personal. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope I addressed everything. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys in hopefully my next video. Bye y'all. Okay, so the first thing I do is prime my eyes with concealer. You can use an eye primer um, or concealer. It really doesn't matter. It's just up to you. It's a personal preference. But what this does is it's really going to make your eyeshadow pop and it's going to make your eyeshadow last longer. I personally find my eyeshadow lasts much longer um, with concealer on underneath, but that's just me. I also don't have oily eyelids. I know there's quite a few people who do have oily eyelids and if you do, I would definitely recommend using a primer to keep your oil at bay uh, and it's just going to help everything stick together. So the palette I'm going to use today is my Milani Pure Passions palette. I'm using this palette because I know not a lot of people have like the Jaclyn Hill palette or Morphe palettes and that's typically all I use. So I wanted to use a palette that you could run to Walmart right now and go buy. Um, you can get this at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, anywhere they sell Milani. And it's the, which one is this? It's the 04 Pure Passions. And it's very like neutral, warm tone shade. And it's very small and compact, so it's good to travel with. Um, and it just has all your basic shades. The look that I'm going to do for you today is just a very, I would say basic look like it's a look that you can wear to a wedding to a party if you have a dinner event if you're having a girls night out um just something very simple but it looks like you spent a lot of time on it and i wanted to do a look that most people would wear i didn't want to do anything too crazy with color because i know a lot of people are intimidated by color so i'm going to do a look for you that's very wearable and that most people would do if they were doing their makeup so the brushes that I'm going to be using today are all from Morphe. I have the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill collection and I have the Jeffree Star Times Morphe collection. So, so those are going to be the only sets of brushes that I'm going to be using today. Um, so the first brush is from the Jaclyn collection and it's called the JH30. And it's just a very fluffy, big brush. This is what you want to start with. 
to start blending in your crease and to kind of buff out all over the lid. So the first type of shade you want to start with is a transition shade. This shade should be just a little bit deeper than your skin tone, just enough to define your crease. So the shade that I am going to start with is this shade right here. It's a it's a brown, but it's not too dark of a brown. It's just a little bit deeper than my skin tone. And I'm going to buff it in in my crease. And the shade is called Totally Fawn of You. And I'm just going to tap in a few times, tap off the excess, and I'm going to buff it. I'm going to start in the middle of my crease and just do windshield wiper motions until I feel like the color is blown out enough. So I'm just going to go windshield wiper motions back and forth in my crease. I'm going to blend it up just a little bit because you want to get that fade. You don't want any harsh lines. The key to having really good eyeshadow is just blending, blending, blending. You want to blend to where it looks natural, even though it's makeup and we know it's not natural. So I'm just going to blend. Blend up. You can take it down the lid just to have a seamless blend. But you really want to focus the transition color in your crease and up here. Just blend it all out. This is going to be, this is the first shade you should always start with. And if you notice, it gives my eye just a little bit of color. It's not too dark. It's not too much. So now I'm going to take a brush from Jeffree Star and it's the JS6 and it's a very, it's still a fluffy brush. You don't want to use a compact brush for anything other than like shimmer shadows or if you're really trying to pack on a pigment. Um, so you still want to use a fluffy brush when, you, when you're doing your crease. But this is, but this one is a little bit shorter and it's tapered. So this is called taper where it's it's short on the side and it goes up. So I'm going to use this to pack on a deeper color in my crease. I'm going to use that to blend in the shade, spice it up, which is this shade right here. I know it looks a little bit scary, but it's darker than this shade and that's what you want. You want to stay in the same family as your transition shade if you're going for like a neutral look, but you just want to do it a little bit darker. You could also use these browns if you wanted to but i'm going to go in with this one right here so i'm going to take this color and i'm going to start by packing it on my outer corner and i'm just going to blend it on the outer corner And then once I've built up enough darkness on the outer corner, I'm going to take this brush with the same color and I'm going to start bringing this color all the way into my crease. I am going to create almost like a halo. I'm just sticking it into the crease and rubbing it on my lid just like this. And I'm going to do that until I've built up enough color that I feel that I want. And then we're going to go in with a shimmer shade. So once you've built it up on the edge, you can take the shadow and you can start bringing it in just like this. And you don't want to go higher than your crease. My crease is here. So this is where I'm going to keep the brush. And I'm going to push it into the inner corner. I'm creating a halo around my eyelid with this color. So the more color I add, I'm always going to start on the outer edge and just drag the extra product in. I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I started with to do my transition shade and I'm going to blend it out to make sure I don't have any harsh lines. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So the brush I'm going to use for the shimmer shade is from the Jaclyn Hill collection and it's the JH41. It's a flat packing brush. This is the type of brush you want to use when you're using shimmers or glitters um, because it really, it's really going to get that color on there. So the shade that I'm going to go in with for the shimmer shade is called Lust and Luminous and it's this shade right here. If you want to do a very natural basic look you know you don't want to do anything too crazy these champagne tone shades are the perfect shades um how many times did i just say shades huh and it's just going to give you that pretty everyday elegant look so the key for shimmer eyeshadow is to wet it i don't care how expensive the eyeshadow is i will always wet my eyeshadows because i just feel like you get better color payoff when you wet them and to wet it you can use um, if you have a water bottle and you want to fill it with water, you can use water, you can use a setting spray, you can really use any type of liquid to wet your brush. I'm just going to take my Morphe setting spray, do a little spritz, and then I'm going to pack on the shimmer color all over my lid. And what you want to do is focus the majority of the brush on the center of your lid because when people look at you and when you take pictures you want that color to be in the center of your lid because it's going to make your eyes look more open so you really want to focus the color on the center of your lid and then tap out as you go so that way when the light hits the color looks more concentrated in the center and it gives you a more open eye look Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that Jeffree Star brush. I'm going to go back in with that second color that we used and I'm going to do the exact same thing that we did the first time. I'm going to dip into the color. I'm going to start on the outer edge and take it back into the crease. So I'm taking that color and defining my outer edge just a little bit more. And I'm going to go back into the crease. Okay, so I want my eyes to shine a little bit more, so I'm going to go back in with my finger, take that shimmer shade, and just pat on my eyelid once more because I really want that shimmer shade to pop. So take my ring finger, and I'm just going to press. Especially in the center and inner corner. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush we used for our transition shade and just come in my crease and buff everything with a light, light hand. Okay, now I know I don't have the best camera quality, but this is what it's going to look like. It's very pretty, it's very elegant. It's an easy, easy look. It only took three colors and three brushes to do. Um, So I really do think anybody could accomplish this look and that's why I wanted to make this video using a palette like this because it's a palette that everybody can run and get right now it's only three colors and it really doesn't take that much time the only advice i can give you is that if you really want your eyeshadow to look 
you know, like a YouTuber's eyeshadow and you just feel like you can't ever get it like theirs, you just have to take your time blending. The key is to blend everything out. If you want your eyeshadow to look good, you can't rush it. It's not a rush process. And I know you might think I did it really fast, but I've also been doing it for years. Um, it has taken me years to get where I am with makeup. So it, yeah, it really just, it takes practice, it, it takes time, and it takes patience. That's honestly the key to making your eyeshadow look like you spent, you know, an hour on it. You just have to take your time. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to apply eyeliner. I'm actually going to fast forward through this process because eyeliner does take me a little while longer because it's a more concentrated process and I really have to like focus. So I'm gonna fast forward through it. I'll try to put it in the camera for you guys, but it's really hard because I have to look down. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyeliner is done. Um, you don't have to do a wing eyeliner. You also don't have to do any eyeliner. Um, I know some people who don't like wing eyeliner and they just like to take the felt tip and give them a black line. You could also do a smudged black line if you want. Um, it's really a personal preference. I like wings, so that's why I do wings. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Hi, right, Lila. Lila has just entered the building. So yeah, I hope I got good angles of the eyeshadow for y'all and I will see you guys in a bit. Hello, I'm back. So while I am baking, I'm going to show you how I do, I have powder in my nose. Um, so while I'm baking, I'm going to show you how I do my lower lash line. I always do my face first and then do my lower lash line. Just because with concealer, you take the risk of like covering up with concealer. Sorry guys, my nose is running. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star JS13 and it's just a very short, it's fluffy. Um, but it's very sharp and it's more compact and this is the kind of brush you want to use on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take the first shade that we started with, which is the shade Totally Fallen of You, um, which is that transition shade and use that first. And I'm going to brush it on the outer edge first. You want to go underneath, if you do a wing, you kind of want to go underneath the wing to where it blends in with the top. But you don't want to brush too hard because you don't want to mess up the wing and drag it to the front and really define you see how it defines that lower lash line and now to really define it i'm going to take a deeper brown and i'm going to go in with heat is on which is more of the a pure brown same brush and i'm going to focus this darker color mainly on the outer corner of my eye and then drag it in when i feel like i don't have that much product on the brush because if you put too dark of a color on your lower lash line and you're not going for that smoky look you can really close your eyes and it's not going to give you that pretty open eye look so you want to focus the dark color on the outer edge if you're not going for a smoky eye. If you're going for a smoky eye look, then go for it. But if not, try and keep it on the outer edge. And then I'm just gonna drag it in when I don't have that much color left. can see how my outer corners look a little bit deeper because I really focus that color there it almost gives you that cat eye effect okay so that's what I do for my lower lash line and then now next time you see me I'll be done hey guys so I did not plan the end of this video very well I ended up posting um, the video of myself all made up and done already at the beginning and then started the tutorial after so this is the end of the video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching.